My name is Jim Meller, and I recently retired from the National YMCA in Chicago, Illinois. And for the previous eight years, I was their National Chief Financial Officer. The YMCA is the largest not-for-profit in the United States. Uh, we have 900 member YMCA's that represent 2,800 different locations. Uh, we have approximately 21 million members and we build communities, build individuals, and support families. Every not-for-profit is under pressure to continually deliver their own services, their own mission, and doing it with a constraint of resources. And belonging to a unemployment trust, and particularly 501C trust, enables a not-for-profit to reduce its administrative expense, as well as its actual expense that it has of being part of the state system. That savings that an individual organization can enjoy, both of time and of money, enable that individual not-for-profit to be able to put more money, more time into impacting their community doing their mission. Well, I think there's, a, I know that there's extensive value beyond just the claims administration side. And the claims administration side has a long history of being extremely well run and minimizes the cost to the member. At the same time, there's a number of other uh, programs such as the Purchasing Power Program. And uh, we recently announced also help with uh, employment of employees who have left your not-for-profit and to help them. There's also the HR helpline. And regardless of the size of your organization, who do you go to when you have questions? There's always a critical question. And no matter how large or how strong your management is, all of us have questions about certain things. And in this day and age, the HR helpline is, is a critical advantage. I think that makes the 501c trust unusual, uh, but it's part of the services that bring value. You know, the 501c trust isn't just a not-for-profit trust for the benefit of its members, but most importantly, its run, its governance, its trustees represent not-for-profit leaders from across the United States, from large agencies to small agencies, to local to national. And the fact that we, as not-for-profit leaders, control and run, and we are the stewards of the trust, I think is critical. The stop-loss part of our unemployment coverage is critical because it lays off risk that a not-for-profit would have that if it experienced a high level of layoffs, um, as most of our not-for-profits did in 2008 and 2009, that it comes in and supplements your cost, like any insurance policy would. It provides coverage. So if you run into an unexpected uh, layoff or a crisis where you're having to reduce down your staff and you've set aside a certain amount of money uh, in the trust to take care of that unemployment cost, the stopgap comes in and protects you. Each member that is part of the uh, uh, stop loss program pays a very small premium for that, like any other insurance coverage. 
but when it's necessary, it becomes the most necessary uh, asset that you can have because it transfers that burden that you would be faced with uh, to a third party. It really has preserved a number of not-for-profits at a most critical time in their life.